So since the last recording, and if you haven't seen the first part, go back and see the first part or else this isn't going to make much sense to you. But uh, uh, so what I've done is uh, I've removed the sidebar and that's easily done by just going to your page. As, as so you go into your page, scroll, uh, give me a second here, open it up, edit it. And then at the bottom, just select full page and hit update. And that's one thing I did since the last video because I just thought it would look better. And also on the custom fields, one other thing that I think looks better is that I went here and in the style, I changed it from seamless to the standard WP Metabox. I think that just for my taste, it looks better. And um, in any case, now that we have all that set, let's start off, but let's continue on with this video series. And uh, let's start inserting some code so that we can output our information. So I'm just gonna copy some codes uh, and uh, put it in for you. And just, just to, uh, for, for the sake of speed, I'm gonna plop in some code. And the first thing I'm gonna put in is uh, actually the, um, the, the, the new loop that we're gonna use. So it's a, it's a action and it, it gets used uh, to, to use a hook. So basically this is the action we're hooking onto the Genesis loop and we're creating our own loop and I titled my loop movies loop. Okay. So that what, what we want to do now is add some information to that. So we want to add a function and that's basically how loops work. You add, you hook onto a loop, name that loop and create a function and that adds the information. So this function is called movies loop. So if you're ever changing loops, just make sure that this name here always matches here because or else it's not going to work. And here are our arguments. The, our, our arguments are contained within an array. And the post type that we're looking for is my movies. That is the slug that we created under custom post types. You can find those slugs by going to CPT uh, right here, UI. And then you, we can look here. And here it is. Here's my movies, the slug. That's the slug we created uh, a little while ago in the, in the previous video. And then the next thing is that uh, we want to, well, you don't have to, but I, I want to limit the number of posts to 12. You can take this out if you want, or you can put whatever number you want, but that's what this is for. It limits the number of posts per page. And then we want to later on be able to, uh, to have the ability to sort those posts by year. So in order to do that, we, we pull the year label that's in our custom fields and we, we assign it to a meta key and we order that meta key by the meta value number. And we're gonna tell it to take that those numbers and order them in ascending order. If you want it to order descending, you just write change this ASC to DESC and it has to be in capitals or it's not gonna work out for you. So that takes care of the array. The next thing we're gonna do is create uh, a new uh, argument. Uh, a new query pardon me so in order to do that what we do is we just go and write something like this we're referencing we're, my movies we're going to call it and the query is new and it's called wp query arg so it's going to reference that and this has to be in capitals wp and the q also has to be in capitals and then we can start with our loop so we're going to begin with our loop the beginning of the loop is like this and you know what I might as well put in the end of the loop as well so I don't forget it okay you know what? I'll just copy and paste that in just for sake of speed so I'll just copy that in paste that in and that's the loop gonna end and actually I gotta put in these marks uh, or else that's not going to work. So that's the. So basically, what this is saying is, is if there's movies and if it has posts, do something. And while movies has posts, output posts as long as it has it. Once it doesn't have any more posts, end it basically. And now we're going to basically tell the computer how to output this information. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take. Um, let me just get, grab the, uh, a picture of the website that we want, what we want it to look like. So what we want to do is we want to create a panel for this. 
and each each one of these has to be created uh, contained in a panel so we're going to do that first that's the first thing we need to do so in order to do that we need to surround it in a div so what we're going to do is echo out uh, the opening div tag okay actually you know what i'm going to copy and paste it just for the sake of speed or else this video is going to turn out and to be two hours long. So that's the opening uh, diff uh, for the panel. And then we have to close that. Okay. And actually I should label this opening. Okay, so it's good to label these that way later on if you're trying to troubleshoot, you can find the things faster. And so that's the out, out, uh, outside uh, panel. And inside we're gonna have another div that's gonna give us the ability to target this whole section on the inside. And let's label that one. We're gonna call that one first. And uh, let's put that in here. Okay. And then the next thing we want to create now that we have our two containers that are outer container and our inner container is we want to start the actual coding. We want to create a group that'll hold the, the thumbnail and the, 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 the little description to the right of it. So we're going to put something like that, create a div for that. And that's, that's our, our, the beginning of the skeleton for uh, our, our little presentation here. So the, the next thing we want to do is we want to create, a, um, we want to actually insert the thumbnail. And the way to do that is to put something like this in. And let me actually take this out just to show you something. Okay, so let's save that. And let's put a closing tag for the thumbnail group. Actually, no, we have that already. So let's, we've saved this. Let's go to our our little demo here. Let's refresh this. And you can see here that it's outputting the full size of the thumbnail of, or the feature Im image. And we don't want that. We just want the actual thumbnail. And this is why we define it here inside the, inside the brackets. If you leave it uh, undefined, it'll put out the full size image. And by saving that, now we can see uh, that it puts nice little squares like we wanted. So now we're going to put the information that's eventually going to go to the right of it. So let's go start with that. For that information, we're going to we want to put that inside its own div as well. So we're going to create a div called the uh, info, and we're going to close that div as well. So let's go here and paste that in. You know what, let me put a little space there just to stay organized. And the first uh, information we're going to put in there is this, the title. Let's just put it in, let's echo it out. Okay, and to echo the title out, just go like this, title, put some brackets, uh, closing quotations, should do that trick, let's have a look. And there it is, there's the title. And then uh, what we want to be put beside that is the year. So let's echo that out. Uh, you know what, actually, before we do that, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put this whole thing inside a H5 uh, header uh, because I want it to stand out a little bit. So let's create the opening div for the H5. Opening tags, I mean, not div, it's not a div. And then we're gonna, okay. Uh, opening tags, close the tags, H5. Uh, semicolons, I always forget those. So let's see what difference that made. See, it makes it a little bit more bold. And beside that, we need to put the date. So, see the title um, what else we want to do okay let's get the date so 
and just show you something. We can put, easily do something like this, like get underscore field. Oh boy, I don't want all that. That sometimes uh, auto completion messes you up a little bit. And uh, what did we call it? Field year, we called it year. Okay. And then if we look at it here, you can see it puts the whole whole year. I, I don't want the whole year, I just want the, it has the month and the date, I just want the year, basically. So in order to correct that, we have to actually create a little bit of a, a variable. So we're gonna take this out, okay? Take that out, let's create the variable. First thing we gotta do is do this. Put the variable in, and the variable is here. The variable is going to be called date, and uh, it's going to format it for us. And here's the get field. It's getting it here. So basically, this whole information with the month and the date is going to get stored as a variable date. And then what we need to do now is actually uh, output it. So let's do that. So what we want to put in there something to the something like this. We want to echo the date. So what we're saying is take this variable with all the information we want to echo the date but the format we want is just the year is what we're saying here and by doing this we can save it and then we go here we can see the dates already there but let's separate this with some um, brackets in order to do that we're just gonna we're gonna just uh, put in some marks like this. Put in these marks, uh, put a space, put the opening bracket, put a space, put a concatenation, and then we're gonna put the closing bracket. Okay, closing bracket, and uh, yeah, that should do it. Uh, what are we missing here? Concatenation mark. Uh, we're missing something here. Oh, wrong place. Give me one second while I fix. So we don't need this. We have a concatenation mark. So let's see what happens so far. Okay. You can see it's in brackets. So later on when we do our CC CSS, I want to target this uh, date and make it a little bit smaller. So in order to do that, we have to wrap that in a span. So the way we're gonna do that is, um, is like this. After, after the, 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 what do we call it, the title, we wanna concatenate something. We wanna concatenate the beginning of the span. So you go like that, span class equals, uh, we'll call it date, okay? And then we want to close that concatenation, I mean that span, so in order to close that, we go here to the end of this. Let me just find it. Give me one second. Right here, space, and put these marks, and tags. Oops. Okay, so we have that so far. Let's just make sure everything looks okay. Everything is still there, okay, good. So after we've done that, we wanna put in everything. Uh, I didn't close the H5 yet, did I? So let's close that tag. Let's close that tag. And that's done like that. H5 close the tag so below after that we we have a, a section that's gonna go at the bottom of the of the at the little square let me show you where it is uh, let me show you what we're trying to do here what we want to do is make this section here the, the, the info section so that that info section is going to contain uh, a bunch of stuff uh, 
So let's do that. So this is where the tags actually come in handy. As you can see, I've already done the info. It matches up with that. Now, a good thing I had them or else I would have done it twice and wasted basically my time. So we can take that one out. It's good to have those. Uh, the only thing that we're actually missing then is the, the rating section. And that's uh, the here, right, right here. And then this information we're gonna put in after. But let's go ahead with, with what we're doing then. We're gonna create uh, a thumbnail group. right underneath that, uh, that thing. But before that, like I said, we have to create uh, the rating. So the, underneath the, the, pair, the H5 tag, we need to create a paragraph. So let's do that. So let's do that. You know what, just for the sake of speed I'm gonna copy in some text let me put a space here so you can see so what we're doing here is we're putting in a paragraph tag opening and closing we're writing in my rating and we leave a little space there so it puts a little bit of a gap we're also going to add a span because we want to target the rating I'm going to put make it into red and then we're getting the field with our command we're going to be using this command quite often and we're getting the field my rating that we created in the custom fields and in here we're closing the span and we're uh, closing the paragraph tag and let me show you what that looks like at this point I do need this Let's save this so here we go See, here's the information, and later on we're gonna target this stuff with some CSS to fix it up a little bit better. So once we've done that, we have the rating, we have that, we, we're pretty much done with the top section. Now we're gonna focus in on the bottom section. And what I mean by the bottom section is this information here. We're gonna put that in. So what we wanna do is create uh, a little box for them for that area and so we're gonna call that one first group and so we're gonna put it in like this that's the opening tags and let's close the tags as well okay okay that's the tags closed and the first thing we want to do is uh, put in some uh, a paragraph in a paragraph and inside the paragraph tags let me lift it up a little so you can see better we're using the again that same command get field description and we're putting that in paragraph tags so let's have a look and see what that looks like as you can see it puts the information in there on each one okay so now let's work on getting that uh, my thoughts panel let me just put a little space here. Oops. So let's do this here. This one's a little bit longer. And I'll explain what happens. So this this tag is basically the, the panel tag. Here's the opening div. Here's the closing div. We're wrapping the whole thing inside there in an H6 header tag and we're writing my thoughts here's the closing of the h6 and right after that we're going to put a paragraph and we're using the get field uh, function or the get field command to bring in our thoughts so let's save that and uh, we can see what it looks like at this point so here's all information everything all the information that we need is now here we can go to here and get rid of these two empty lines. And so all the information that we need now to, uh, to output is there. All that's needed now is a little bit of uh, some styling in the CSS, and it is gonna start to look just like this one in no time at all. So it's gonna go from, thi from, from this to this with a little bit of CCS, which we're gonna do right now. So just head over to your style CSS, um, 
window or tab I should say and uh, what we're gonna start right off the bat is putting in our code so the first thing we're gonna put in is is a group of uh, code uh, and I'm gonna paste it in just so it gets a little bit faster and again don't worry about memorizing this code uh, I'm gonna put it all in uh, the description field there's gonna be a link to where you can get the code so the first thing we're doing is we're, we're putting in a group. This is gonna be used for the, when we group things, uh, we're gonna put in a table, we're using this clear both command and the thumb title group. This is just some margins and, and uh, some padding that we're putting in and the thumbnail, we wanna move it to the left. So just by putting that code in, let's see what it did. Okay. So you can see it, it kind of moved this a little bit but it didn't do all that much. So let's keep going. So let's target in a, a few more information there. So we've done the thumbnail. Let's put in a few more here. So we want to do now, let me move this up so you can see better. We want to, for the date, we're going to make the date a little bit smaller. And the ratings, we're going to make it red. And uh, the font for that, we're going to make it bold. And uh, we're going to float it to the left for the, the big main panel so that it, whenever we add new panels, it auto automatically shifts. We're going to put a border all around it that's a little bit of a light gray. And we're going to give it a margin, a, a very small margin of uh, 1%. Uh, so let's save that and then you can see what that did. So you can see right away that it already it's looking a little bit better. You can see that... Uh, they have their own little boxes there it's starting to look a little bit nicer and um, we're well on our way so let's continue on with the code so we're going to add a little bit more code to give uh, some color and some definition now so let me move this up a little bit so what we're doing now is we're going to target the paragraph and uh, did i miss a period here yeah and then we're gonna make the background uh, of one of the panels white. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's save that in there and see what did what happened there. So here we go. So as you can see, uh, it put in this panel here, made it up bigger. It fixed the alignment and spacing and um, it's starting to look a little bit better. So let's continue and uh, do some more changes and we're almost done actually. The next thing we want to do is we want to start to finish off uh, the styling and uh, let me move this up so you can see better. So what we're putting on is this code, the first child, the panel first. And um, so we're going to change the color we're going to the thumb title info we're going to make it inline block because right now you can see it's it's here this in, this information we want it to be up here so that's going to take care of that and uh, we're going to put a little bit of margining and, and also the information the the header 5 we're going to change the color of it so let's let's just put in save that and you can see what difference that has made and you can see just by putting that code in that it's pretty much it's all done it it just it went from that and uh, to this from what we had before to nothing and now what would happen basically is as you keep adding new information into uh, where is it into your movies as you keep adding movies if you added another one the next movie would just get populated here and so on and so forth so although at the beginning it takes a little bit of work once it's done it makes things so much easier and that's the end of my uh, this to this part of the tutorial if you have any questions uh, let me know and i hope you liked it don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'll catch you on the next tutorial the next tutorial i might do might be something along the lines on the on an add-on that's available for the custom fields that's called the repeater so thanks for watching and we'll see ya bye bye